Another replay here from Stormrunner and Acroma. C O A H. Laughing Abyss. That is Stormrunner, I believe. Lizardmen, Tomb Kings. Crocgar and a Skink Oracle. Versus Kalita and a Bone Giant. Alright, that's a little odd. We have two Chameleon Stalkers in the distance for the Lizard Men. We do have a Quaddle, plus the Skink Oracle with Flock of Doom, Earthblood, and Armada Convergence. Crocgar, Hand of the Gods. A whole bunch of Soros Warriors and two Pterodons with Fire Leech Bolas. For the enemy, we have a Carrion, Bone Giant, the Blessed Legion of Flach, Chosen of the Gods, Eyes of the Desert, a bunch of Skeleton Spearmen, including a Tomb Guard. We have High King Queen Kalita and Annette and Shem's Burning Gaze Caster. So the Carrion have come out to spot the hidden units underneath the Quaddle and allow the Bone Giant and the Chosen of the Gods to do some stuff. Chosen of the Gods currently firing at the Quaddle. Won't do too much damage to him, but it will friendly fire the Carrion pretty bad. So don't do that. Chosen of the Gods probably want to fire at the Soros or maybe Krokgar. Krokgar might be a tall enough target that it's okay. Quaddle is already down to half HP though from the Bone Giant. Wow. Shim's Burning Gaze is out onto Krokgar. I imagine he'll be getting netted here too. There's the net. Where's the punishment? Bone Giant actually does a lot of damage. And there he goes, the Chosen of the Gods. At this close of range, and he's a tall target, they're getting a ton of chunking out. The Blessed Legion of Flach are also in range. Oof. That is a bad time for you, Mr. Krokgar. My man lost over half of his hit points. But now the Lizards are here. The Fire Leech Bowl is doing a lot of damage to the clustered up infantry. Soros can try and push through that front line and wow, Krokgar is actually routed down to about a quarter of his HP. Jesus. So Porkle Stalkers are here. We have rock drops coming in from the Pterodons most likely. There we go. It already happened. That's a lot of damage to those Tomb Kings backliners, including the Blessed Legion of Flach are actually about to depart entirely. And what is that and from who? That is an Aranan's Thunderbolt. No, that's Chain Lightning from the Quaddle. Oh, very nice. Just goes through, rips those guys apart. And then that's going to be the Thunderbolt on the Kepper Guard. Should do a lot of damage, honestly. Yeah, there you go. The Skink Oracle is actually sniping out Kalita pretty well right now. I bet she doesn't even know that that's happening because it's such a niche unit to have to look out for. Chosen of the Gods now going to fire back? No. Firing at the Soros. Yeah, Kalita's still taking a lot of damage. She's definitely got a dodge. Sporkle Stalkers are trying to get out there and shoot at that Oracle. Getting some decent damage down, and Kalita is now going to run for the trees. Tomb King's front line is slowly but surely falling apart, and the Quaddle is still proving very disruptive. Lizardmen are slightly up on the balance of power despite losing their Lord almost entirely, and yeah, I would tend to agree. The Flock of Doom is popped to try and whittle down those guys even further. Kalita is just going to charge the Skink Oracle, who is shooting her right in the face. Can he get one more shot off? Does not look like it. The Chameleon Stalkers are even here to help out. So Kalita is pretty much doomed. We're just going to see what damage she can get out in the meantime. The Shopty Summon is coming in at last. Should be able to rear charge the Saurus. The Saurus are grinding super well. The Skink Oracle blasts Kalita on her way out. Bone Giant misses at a clutch time, because of course he does. He's a Bone Giant after all. What is that? Is that a net? Net of Amritok keeping him in place. While the Chosen of the Gods start to fire, the Sparkle Stalkers are trying to fire, and the Bone Giant is, as well. So he's getting the Croc Guard treatment a little bit. Down to below half HP. Quaddle's still rolling around, though. Doing his damnedest. Yeah, and Skink, Skink Oracle's taking a lot of damage. Fire Leech Bullets have a lot of ammunition left, though. They're going to easily be able to clean up this infantry, and after that, I mean, you just have, like, a Bone Giant and a Lich Priest. Kalita's still technically alive. Chasing this King Oracle now. And if she dies, he will be able to rally. But without her... Oh, God! The Bone Giant shot her in the back of the head. Bone Giant, what the fuck? Kalita manages to get rid of the Chameleon Stalkers. Bone Giant is still trying to fire at the Skink Oracle as he pieces out. There's the shot. Hits, and that might just shatter him as his leadership goes to negative 55. It starts to rally a little bit, and Kalita's still technically alive. Tomb King's taking a little bit of the lead on the balance of power. Quaddle's getting shot by the Sparkle Stalkers, which is pretty huge. We've got to take him out. He's been really disruptive this whole time. 
Kalita almost gets shot by her bone giant again. That bone giant is a, is a traitor to the state. Quaddle dives Kalita, gets a... Oof. Gets a glancing blow that should be enough to get her to start crumbling, and then she will die. Krokar is still safe in the distance. Skink Oracle is gone. Officially. Net of Amritok locks the Quaddle in place right in front of... The Chosen of the Gods are trying to shoot it at, like, point-blank range. Most of their explosive shots are going past it, but they're getting a little bit. Sporkle Stalkers and the Bone Giant also scoring good hits. Good hits, good hits. Keppergard's still alive. The only infantry left for the Tomb Kings. And Kalita lived? Kalita lived. Or we're being serious right now. Kalita is alive. Bottles pushed off, takes another Bone Giant shot to the back. Good God. And that is the end of the Sepulchral Stalkers. Somehow Kalita is alive with one leadership. There she goes to negative eight. She'll start crumbling. Rallies again at nine. The leadership is a fickle mistress. But she probably just wants to commit to a fight. Otherwise she's going to crumble. The Quaddle's routing. Krokgar is coming back. Stronger and better than ever. And Kalita is at 17. Now down to six leadership. Oh, Hand of the Gods from across the map is going to just snipe her out and kill her. But the Bone Giant with the counterfire! This game slaps. This game slaps. Nobody gets away with nothing. Nothing for free. Krokgar routes. Swift and, swiftness of Issel gonna increase his speed as he runs away. Bone Giant! Oh, he was lining up the shot. He was gonna get him. If Krokgar comes back and then routes one more time, he's gonna shatter, though. Bone Giant's still fighting. Quaddle's also trying to come back to the fight, though. The Shem's Burning Gaze is going for his ass. There it is. 15 health for the Quaddle. That that guy's done. That guy's done. Krokgar is back. Still hiding in his trees for the leadership of uh, the Tomb Kings. Not the Tomb Kings. Leadership of the, 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 the Lizardmen hold. Shem's Burning Gaze. Caster is starting to ride out there. Looks like he has business with Krokgar. One Shem's Burning Gaze should be able to, to route that guy once and for all. Keppergard are admirably fighting. Are you serious? The fucking Quaddle's back with 15 health. Anyway, uh, Capricard are fighting admirably, but against Soros and with these Fire Leech Bolas raining down him, that's just not going to work. Krokgar is killed by the Shem's Burning Gaze, and that is that is important, because you take a bigger leadership hit for him dying than him running away. That finishes off the Quaddle, gets it to Shatter. We are starting to get Terror Outs in from the Soros Warriors. Bone Giant's trying to line up a shot on those flying Pterodon Riders who are killing the Capricard. Here he goes. Eh, kills one of the bottles. Not super impressive, but it's something. We're going to play at times two speed as we do have a slow grind on our hands, it seems. Capergard will be killed at last. There they go. Bone Giant's still fighting. We have a lot of Pterodons left, and they honestly still have a good amount of ammunition. Ned of Amnitok is going to lock them in place, but there's no follow-up. Bone Giant's still trying to grind through all these infantry. It's really not working out. The Fire Leech Bulls are actually doing more friendly fire than good. Bone Giant starts to crumble a little bit. Bounce power is tipping in the favor of the Lizard Men. More terror routes for their Saurus. If they can turn into real routes, maybe they can start getting some shatters. Bounce power tips further against the Tomb Kings. So the Saurus are getting real low. Bone Giant's at negative 47 leadership. Oh, all the way up to 19. All right, guess I was wrong. Shim's Burning Gaze rips through the side of the source, and that might actually be enough to start getting them to route. And we could see a chain route as you get the debuff from your friends nearby also routing, but it looks like the source are just going to be hardy enough stock that they'll be okay. Bone Giant is still rotting away, slowly but surely. There comes a bit of a mass route as two Saurus are leaving. But the Bone Giant's just way too low, man. He's down to 1,000 HP. Lich Priest of Light is also fucking dying. It was close. But Tomb Kings can't do it. GG. Krokgar got murdered on the advance. Skink Oracle actually did a ton. Quaddle did a lot. Fire Leech Bolas were just amazing. Saurus ground through that front line quite nicely. Chameleon Stalkers did well. On the other side for a Chroma. Unfortunately, he didn't seem to notice Kalita getting sniped until she was super low, but after that, he did a great job keeping her alive. Uh, Bone Giant did fantastically. Lightcaster honestly did really well, too. Um, not value-wise, but, yeah. 3,500 on the Chosen of the Gods, 1,100 on the Sparkle Stalkers. Tomb Guard mixed overall. Plus Legion of Flach, and most of the skeletons didn't get much done. GG.